simple. That's how you do it. You can just upload any JPEG, PNG files you like. So this is it. That's how you do it. And if you want to say like, how do you make custom thumbnails in Photoshop? I have tutorials on my channel about that. Make sure to check them out. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new episode of Evolving Into A Better YouTuber episode and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to actually upload custom thumbnails on YouTube. Now actually you need to enable custom thumbnails first. I believe you do that in the channel settings and once you've done that you can just go ahead and start using custom thumbnails. So we're going to go to youtube.com for slash features. Now as you guys can see if you want to go to the bottom it says custom thumbnails enabled. So you want to make sure that this is enabled and once you've done that you can go back to the upload page. And As you can see I'm uploading a video right now and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to upload a custom thumbnail. So what you want to do people ask me all the time like how do you up, like upload a custom thumbnail well guys first what i did is i made the thumbnail of this video in photoshop already as you guys can see this is the thumbnail of my video of today so i'm just going to use this thumbnail i have this one in a in a jpeg uh format so at the bottom it says custom thumbnail we're going to click on that and once we've found that we're going to just open the folder where the thumbnail is we're going to click on thumbnail and now it's uploading the thumbnail and if, if we click on save changes it is now now saved and this is how you upload a custom thumbnail guys it is really simple that's how you do it you can just upload any jpeg png files you like so this is it that's how you do it and if you want to say like how do you make custom thumbnails in photoshop i have tutorials on my channel about that make sure to check them out it's really awesome because usually you have to choose like at the bottom like three just snippets of the video which is not really uh like that uh powerful just make a custom thumbnail and that's how you do it so that is it for this video guys thank you for the support and i'll catch you guys tomorrow for a new story time video so i'll see you guys tomorrow just alex helford